Anything about the Prinnies? You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What? Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan. It's not Hey or You. You have never called me by my name. Not even once since the first time we met. S so what's it to you? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. 
Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. Ugh! What do you know about being an overlord? Forget it! I'm not talking to you anymore!
been like that. I don't think that's entirely true. Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. Oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. That's not weird at all. Well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. A human? Yep. She was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually the prince was born. Hmm. Is that so? She was always saying things like, demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? The queen died. Huh? A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. There was only one way to save him. Which was... The life of one who loved him. Then... That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so. But I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved.